City Council member in Pueblo is back in the spotlight for all the same wrong reasons. Politically, he survived the controversy over vandalism charges involving a Christopher Columbus protest. But now Vicente Martinez Ortega finds himself accused of violating his probation. Good evening, I'm Bart Bedsoul. Heather Skold is on assignment tonight. A former Pueblo City Councilman convicted of defacing public property is facing more legal trouble tonight. Probation officers in Pueblo County say he has violated his conditions including not paying the city back for the damage. KRDO 13 investigator Sean Rice is live at the controversial Christopher Columbus statue to tell us what he's learned. Sean? Yeah, Bart, it was during a protest at the Christopher Columbus statue here beside me in 2021 when former District 4 Councilman Vicente Martinez Ortega took a hammer and chisel to multiple bricks just like these ones here beside me, damaging them. He was then sentenced to 18 months on probation, but now new court records accuse him of failing to follow the rules set forth by a Pueblo County judge. Cardio 13 investigates first showed you this video showing at the time sitting city councilman Vicente Martinez Ortega defacing public property by chiseling off bricks below the Columbus statue. He was charged with a felony that was later pled down to a misdemeanor, a charge the now former councilman called quote politically motivated because of his activism. It's super unfair to folks who can go who get elected who win a position and now they're under such a microscope because of their political activism. Pueblo County Judge Amy O. Markinson sentenced him to 18 months on probation and required him to complete multiple conditions. Now, in new court records obtained by Cardio 13 Investigates, probation officers say he hasn't done many of them, including checking in with probation officers. They say he hasn't paid back restitution to the city for the damage. He hasn't done community service and still owes over $5,000 in fines and other court costs. The city of Pueblo confirms the damage caused by Martinez Ortega has been repaired at the taxpayer's expense. But the city told me today it was unaware that the former councilman's probation could be revoked for not paying restitution. Cardio 13 Investigates has learned if a judge revokes probation, it could lead to jail time. Today, we reached out to Vicente Martinez Ortega multiple times by both phone call and text message. He told us, quote, no comment and to, quote, see him in court. On Thursday, Martinez Ortega will appear in front of a Pueblo County judge who will then decide his potential punishment. Reporting live along Abriendo Avenue in Pueblo, Sean Rice, Cardio, 13 Investigates.